A very important development in cancer care within the last 20 years has been the uh, establishment and maintenance of, of treatment guidelines. Many organizations, including the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, have come together bringing experts in their respective fields who have gone through the medical literature and merged that with their experience in actually treating persons with that kind of cancer and came up with a, uh, a plan of care, a framework for care that can be used for virtually any patient with any kind of cancer. What it does is it, it puts together the best minds and it puts down on paper what is the best treatment that we have. It also ensures sort of a, uh, a, a basic uh, understanding about what's needed to effectively cure somebody. And is all this discussion now of quality of care, this is what the experts feel is quality care. So it's a standard upon which to uh, base your uh, planning. And, and it's also a, a standard that we know needs to be improved so that by doing this, we know where things stand today and how we need to, to do better. The other thing it can do is it can truly uh, improve the delivery of care to individual patients. Uh, one of our NCCN guidelines are on the anti-nausea medications, uh, and it's been conclusively shown that when guidelines are employed in a whole hospital full of patients, the outcomes improve because they ensure that the right medicine at the right dose at the right time gets to the right patient. And that by using these guidelines as part of a doctor's and a hospital's general practice, care improves and outcomes improve.